Tower of Faith stands the breath of the opening wings, the soaring wings of inspiration. My figurative sculptures are symbolic, symbolising the outside world by the texture of the surface of the piece. And then the pose which they take depicts a state of being. Every single piece is always symbolising and trying to capture the absolute pinnacle point of that state. The calling symbolises the pinnacle of suffering. Basically the ego suffers so much it self-destructs and in that moment there's a knowing beyond thought. The surface texture of the sculptures symbolizes and depicts the outer world. I would go to the woods and I will see the bark and the rocks and I'll try and capture those shapes and patterns and forms in each piece. The ideas for the sculptures come from self-realizations. I have a, a realization which hits me at one point and then from that I want to sculpt it, write about it and talk about it. When I create, generally, I'll use either clay or wax. And I love working in these two mediums because you can put wax on or you can put clay on and you can take them off and so you can play around with the form until you get it to say what you want it to say. I also love to work directly from my inspirations so that the piece remains very alive as I'm sculpting it, that I'm actually in that state, believing it myself at that moment in time. And so, because of that, I work in a windowless room. I work in a room where all my inspiration is coming from the inside out. The Sleeper describes a piece which is still asleep to itself. It doesn't even realize that it's unaware yet. Once the piece has been moulded, then it goes into bronze. I love bronze because it picks up every single detail that you've sculpted in the first place, and it's this hard, permanent material. It has the best of both worlds. I left school at 16. I'm severely dyslexic, which I feel gave me a great opportunity to focus my, um, my mind on the things I really wanted to do, which is sculpting, creating, and the first thing I started to do was wood carve. I was very fortunate, I went to an apprenticeship when I was 16, and from there I built on those skills once I set up my own studio. Over time I, I became closer to what I wanted to sculpt by realising it more in myself, and also at the same time I was developing the skills to be able to express the things I wanted to say through my work. I love the fact that I never done art at school. I don't know why, it's terrible, but I didn't. For me, art is about, or sculpting is about, form. It's about creating with your hands the overall 3D effect, not, not collages and colours. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that was never for me. To date, I've sculpted about 30 pieces, but for me, this is just the beginning of the journey. I see my sculptures as a source of inspiration, as a reminder to that which is real inside yourself. For me, that's my greatest opportunity.